All signs are pointing to Jelly Bean as being a point release. What is that? And what does it mean for Android? This is Pocket Now. I'm Joe Levi. That's what we're going to talk about on today's episode of the Android Guy Weekly. Way back to the early days, Google has listed their operating system iterations well, as nice, tasty desserts. Versions A and B kind of broke that model, but C was cupcake, and well, after that it was all downhill. The next version, after the current version, which is of course Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0, has been rumored to be Jelly Bean. Now Google's let that name slip a little bit, so we're pretty confident that that's ultimately what the next version of Android is going to be called. But what version is it? We think that it might be 4 point something. Some people have thought it might be 5.0. Well, what's the difference? First and foremost, by all accounts, it looks like it's going to be Android version 4.1. Yes, Jelly Bean, we're putting our money down on 4.1. Why is that? Well, Google released their Galaxy Nexus phone in the Google Play Store so you could buy it directly from them. Which, first of all, that's really cool. We're glad they brought that back because you used to be able to do that with the Nexus One back before it was called the Play Store. Now they're doing it with the Galaxy Nexus. They let something slip though just last week. When looking at the description for the phone online, it said that this was the first version of the phone that was going to get the next version of Android, version 4.1. And they listed Jelly Bean by name. So we're pretty sure it's going to be called Jelly Bean, and we're pretty sure it's going to be version 4.1. They pulled down that description relatively quickly, though screenshots do exist, indicating that that's probably what Google's going to be doing. Also means that the Nexus is probably going to be the first phone to get it, and it's probably going to be relatively soon. So, if we take all of those assumptions, which at this point they are, they're pretty well-founded assumptions, but if we take all those assumptions, what does it mean? What is a point release, and what does that mean for Android? Well, for a point release, we've got to look back to software development, okay? And we're going to do this in the context of Android, the operating system. All along the way, we've had really minor versions with a couple major versions. Now, what's a, ma a minor and a major version? Major versions are full versions. So version 1 to version 2, version 2 to version 3, version 3 to version 4, version 4 to version 5. Those are major revisions. Sometimes they're not all that major as far as what they include, but that's what they're called. Minor revisions are sometimes called point revisions. Sometimes minor revisions are called something else. But we'll kind of call them synonymous for the purpose of this video. A point revision is simply that. We're going from version 2.0 to 2.1, or 2.1 to 2.2. Generally speaking, in software development, just in general, point revisions are bug fixes. They are software modifications to add stability, to correct errors, they usually don't add many new features. Well, all one has to do is look back at the history of Android to realize that's not the case for Android because we get lots of new features and functionality with point revisions. Now, we're going to call them minor revisions next, and that's sub-point revisions. So, for example, right now on my Galaxy Nexus, I'm running version 4.0.4. .4. So, Google usually does bug fixes in the minor revisions, in the sub-point revisions. I'm still running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, it's just version 0.4 of that. Make sense? All right, so we kind of have some terminology down and under our belts. We kind of know where Google breaks with the standard as far as naming goes. So what do we expect we're going to get with Android Jelly Bean, which is probably going to be Android version 4.1. If we think back to Froyo and Gingerbread, which really weren't that long ago, and a lot of you guys are still running one of those versions of Android, 
there's not a lot of differences between the two. But the differences that are there are, some of them are subtle, some of them are a bit more grandiose, some of them are a lot more important. But they're still very close to one another, at least from a development standpoint. A developer doesn't have to do much different to get their stuff to be optimized for gingerbread versus just running on and optimized for Froyo, but runs on gingerbread. Make sense? So we expect the same thing's going to be happening with Android Jelly Bean, again, hopefully version 4.1. If it's not, this video is going to become really irrelevant really fast, isn't it? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I'm putting my money down on 4.1. So what does that mean? What are we going to get? Recently, we have seen a lot of improvement with Google Maps. Well, we've seen it, we just haven't been able to experience it. Google Maps has this really cool new 3D building, texture, trees, landscape, topography thing. We've seen it in their videos, but we really haven't seen it on any devices yet. They had a press release that showed us how cool it was, and holy crap, it's cool. Imagine flying over, taking multiple shots of an area, and using a really sophisticated algorithm, patching those flat two-dimensional images together into a three-dimensional model, and then painting the two-dimensional images with the appropriate stretches and skews to handle the three-dimensional... three-dimensionality? Wow, that's really hard to say. Painting that over the sides of the 3D model. Sounds awesome, and in fact it is. Everything that we've seen so far looks amazing, but we haven't been able to play with it in hand. Why is that? Probably because they're waiting for their next major conference to come out so they can announce it, give us an early release uh, look at, you know, just to the people who are there. Maybe, hopefully, to us out in the industry as well so we can get some, some videos and show you the cool stuff. We'll let you know on that. But I suspect that is going to be built in to Android version 4.1, or at the very least, exclusively released to Android 4.1 initially. And then it will be built back into older versions. Now, why is that? I suspect there's stuff inside Android 4.1 that enables some of this more high-end 3D stuff with less lag and, and just more fluidity that's going to make the whole experience in the new Google Maps a lot nicer. But of course, that's not in down-level versions of Android, so they don't want to release it in down-level versions of Android because the experience would be less than ideal. Again, just my assumption. I don't know that for sure, but I kind of suspect it. What other stuff? Well, of course, we're going to get incremental improvements. We're going to see things getting just more polished, smoother, and all around better. Do we have any more specifics about what's coming in Android Jelly Bean? I certainly don't. That's where I'd like to turn it over to you. What have you heard might be included in Android Jelly Bean? What would you like to be in Android Jelly Bean? And what are some things that you want to see Google avoid with Android Jelly Bean? Some mistakes that they may have made in the past. I'd like to hear from you. Head over to pocketnow.com and leave your comment down at the bottom of the article so we can all kind of get a feel for what everybody thinks is coming, what everybody wants to be coming. That's the best part of this whole thing, at least in my opinion, is hearing from you guys, the audience. It's awesome. You open up my eyes to so many different things and thank you for it. For Pocket Now, musing about Android 4.1 and Jelly Bean, I'm Joe Levi.